Hello guys and welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorials we have taken a look of almost all of the things which would you would need as a beginner and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you something uh, which is called as a denial of service attack or uh, when done by multiple people uh, from different networks it is called as distributed denial of service attack which is very and very ha harmful and it cannot even be uh, you can say prevented at most of the times. So in this tutorial I will be teaching you denial of service attack that is DOS and distributed denial of service attacks and you don't need to be an expert in anything to go ahead and do a denial of service attack just a basic few basic things and you can do that. So to start with the first thing that I would ask you would be that what is DOS and what is uh, DDoS? What are the effects of DDoS, levels of DDoS, preventing how can we go ahead and prevent DDoS uh, but you might be wondering that I just told you that it cannot be prevented. So the thing is that it, it most likely cannot be prevented at most, of the time, most of the times if there is an attack going on then you cannot go ahead and stop it but even before the attack starts you can do something at least to, so that you could go ahead and prevent it from happening in the very beginning. And I'll show you why it is useful and why they are used in multi multinational companies. So what is DDoS exactly or what is DOS exactly to start with? So it uses uh, the fact that while a service can be more than sufficient to cater to the demands of the desired users, a drastic increase in unwelcome users can make the service go down. Most of us use the words like this website was down the other day or without any idea of what it actually means. Well, now we will know today what exactly that means. To give you a good example of what is happen happening exactly, I'll take you to two different examples. And if you still want to know what exactly or how it works exactly, then you can go ahead and check on this uh, specific uh, people. They, they are known as anonymous. So you can go ahead and search about them as to who exactly they are. And okay, so anonymous is a face uh, is a, a group uh, which uh, most people don't know of exactly who they are because they mostly consist of random people. And they call themselves as hacktivists and they normally go and DDoS a lot of networks and some of them have been caught but you cannot go ahead and actually catch all of them because they can be anyone of us, it can be you, me or anyone else. So anyone who wants to be anonymous can just go ahead wear a mask and help uh, in go, go ahead and doing an attack or anything. So they have done lots of other things. They have even done some kind of attacks on different countries as well and still they are unable, uh, people are unable to catch them. Even FBI is behind lo lots of them but uh, it's simply not possible to catch all of them. And they were the first to, uh, they were not the first to go ahead and do this attack but it's because of them that this attack became so famous that uh, people came to know about the importance of a distributed denial of service attacks because they almost do this in any kind of groups that's why. So uh, if you want further information then you can go ahead and do that, go ahead and research on them. But today I'll be giving you the basic concept of how exactly this works with two examples. First thing will be a multiplayer online game and second thing would be a bus stop. So to start with scenario one would be uh, a multiplayer online game. So now just consider you are playing an online multiplayer game. There are millions of other people who also play this game. Now there's a pool in the game over here uh, that everyone likes to visit. Now you and your friends know that they have the power of numbers. Uh, so there are a lot of you and together you make to, uh, de you together you decide to make identical characters in the game. That means uh, you look all of them, you make all of them look the similar. Then all of you go and block the access to the pool. You just carried out a denial of service attack. Yes, it's as simple as it, as it is. The users of the game have now been deprived of a service which they had obtained the right to use when they signed up for the game. And this is just what the guys at 4chan, that is the birthplace and residence of Anonymous. They did a long time ago this kind of games and this is the basic kind of thing that gives you a very basic idea of what a denial of service attacks can be. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at scenario 2. Yeah, uh, it, yeah, this is not exactly what I was trying to but I could not find any other uh, good, uh, let's say, a good image. So I took this image from out of nothing. So let's assume that this is a train stop. So now assume that due to some reason you want to disrupt the train service of your city and stop the people from using the service. To stop uh, the legitimate people from utilizing the service, you can call your friends to unnecessarily use it. Basically, you can invite millions, invite millions of friends to come and crowd around all the uh, train stops and take the trains without any purpose. 
practically it is not feasible since you don't have millions of friends and they are not definitely going to waste their time and money riding aimlessly from one place to another just for the sake that you want to go ahead and block people from using it but this is how it works in the uh, digital world so while this may seem impossible in the real world in the virtual world you can cause as much load as a thousand or even a million users alone at the click of a button there are many tools out there for this purpose however you're not recommended to use them as a dos or on some uh, one else as it is illegal and it is very easy to detect uh, since it also all, uh, easily shows your IP address from where these packets are coming. So we will come back to this later on and do a DOS on our own computer. But as of now, I'll show you how this works exactly. And just before I go ahead and close this uh, basic tutorial part, I'd like to show you uh, the most famous tool which we use for uh, attacking and hacking and that is called as uh, LOIC. And I'll just take you to the Wikipedia page as well. I'll just open the Wikipedia page. Not on an offline page. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So as you can see, this LOIC is known as Low Orbit Ion Cannon. It is an open source network stress testing application for DOS attack. It's written in C uh, sharp and it was initially developed by these blah 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 and all these things. So it was mostly used by uh, you can say as anonymous for going ahead and doing multiple attacks on people. It's quite easy. Easy. I'll just go ahead and show it out to you. I'll just uh, go ahead and download the binary zip file from over here. You can download these files. It will. It's just like around 4 to 10 MB. I don't know exactly uh, what's total. Okay. So I cannot go ahead and download that. I believe uh, my system is blocking me from downloading it. Never mind. Since we won't be actually doing any kind of DOS attack on anyone else, I will only be using the Kali Linux to going ahead and for going ahead and doing the attack on my own system. I won't be needing that since. LOIC is mostly used when uh, you want to go ahead and uh, do a DOS attack on anyone else's website or something. So we won't be doing a DOS attack on a website. We will only be doing that on a computer. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, let me show you how it looks like in exactly our images. So, okay, so this is how the LOIC software looks like. So as soon as you don't know, download it from the SourceForge website, just double click it, uh, it will start running and make sure that your antivirus is disabled because it will uh, most probably detect itself as malware. And you also have a LOIC application for in Google Play Store. Uh, let me check whether they have, they may have deleted that. Let me check. Okay, here it is. Okay, I believe that Google Play Store has removed this from their web page. The reason being that it may be used as for malicious purposes, but you can still find these uh, applications out there. As you can see, we have over here uh, LOIC 5.0, and that is the latest one, I believe. And yes, that's the latest latest one since I have the same in my cell phone. So you can download it over from here. So when you go and if you go and use your, if you, uh, you must be having a good a uh, cell phone because you cannot do it from a cell phone which has like 512 MB RAM or 256 MB RAM. You need a good cell phone of minimum 1 GB RAM to go ahead and do that else your own cell phone uh, will, uh, will be hanged. That's why. So it looks like this. You can go ahead and enter the URL or the IP address of whichever computer or website you want to go ahead and start. Just click lock on and it, the target will be selected and just go ahead and select over here. It will be start flooding. Uh, and as soon as you can click start flooding, it will show stop flooding option and you can uh, go ahead and select the speed as well as to which you want to go ahead and actually attack and you can go ahead and use the port which port the person is actually using uh, for its website and the methods and threads depending upon the speed of your computer and everything. It will go ahead and shut down the uh, computer or the website. So these things were used and uh, yep, uh, that's it for this tutorial guys and in the next tutorial I'll be teaching you as to why I was going ahead and teaching you all of these things and there are multiple ways of doing DDoS attack and uh, you most probably will not be able to save yourself from everything but I can surely go ahead and teach you as to how we can go ahead and uh, save ourselves from this kind of attack and in the next tutorial I'll be describing in detail as to what exactly happens in between the DDoS attack in practical and how it looks like exactly.